night. What an exciting night, Wayne. 51-50. The crowd needed it. The players needed it. You and me definitely needed it. Dance tomorrow, Bruce. I danced last week. Once was enough. All right. Although the ratings were high. They were. People want to see Bruce dance. The ratings were high. Great night, Wayne. Thanks a lot. Product of uh, Viner Consulting. This is Terp Talk. And Wayne, we'll see you Saturday morning. It'll be a great show. It will. Good evening from Comcast. Well, we're here under the stadium still in the right where the cheerleaders come out right where the team comes out and we have tonight exclusive access to the pregame before Maryland runs on the floor uh, to play NC State and we see the back of the guys who are going to take out the Maryland flag and here's the tunnel where the players run through so I've got to get through here this is Wayne Viner for Turp Talk it's getting loud here as we get out on the court So I apologize if you can't hear me, and no, they're not all cheering for me. Positive before Maryland tips off against NC State. Bruce, what are your thoughts about tonight's game? Well, sticking my sticking my leg out a little bit or whatever. Don't think the Terps can't win the night. This is the ACC. We're playing a team that's seven people deep, and there's no way our offense can play as poorly as it has in the past few games. Wayne, I'm looking for a turnaround. Sold out house, the joints jumping. Look for a W tonight.
Williams tonight. And on behalf of the NCAA and National Association of Basketball Coaches, we'd like to present Coach Williams with a replica copy of his painting. Please visit NCAA.com backslash art to learn more about the March Madness Art Collection, celebrating 75 years of coaches and champions.
All right, what an exciting night, Wayne. 51-50. The crowd needed it. The players needed it. You and me definitely needed it. What a night. Alex Lynn, the zone gave Maryland a ton of trouble. But they penetrated. Alex grabbed a missed shot by Payshon, made an easy put back. 51-50, just an incredible performance, especially when they did not get any foul calls in the second half. However, that works. Well, it worked pretty well in the end, 51-50. Uh, NC State ended up the game with only five fouls. Of course, Maryland hit the seven foul limit with about 10 minutes to go. You really got to give the guys credit. They weren't getting the calls. They kept running the offense. There was a couple missed layups on Maryland's part. So all in all, we probably could have had a couple more points on that board. But wow, it was a nice, nice to get a win tonight. You know, if you're in my prediction today in TerpTalk.com, I said don't count out Payshon Howard. He had a couple really bad games. He'd be the first to admit that. His game was back tonight. He hit a three. He had two or three layups. He kind of ran the team well. He was there when it mattered. He wasn't scared to try and take the winning shot that Alex rebounded. But uh, overall, you got to be real happy. This is number 14 team in the country. Gives us a big springboard for a game at Carolina this weekend. But the shooting has to improve. Well, Aaron Holt didn't quite have the game going. Uh, even Seth Allen didn't. Lehman was one for two from beyond the arc. He had one blocked. We keep shooting the ball. We're getting in the right spot, Bruce. How long do you think it's going to take before those start going down for us? I don't know, but I do know one thing. You know, C.J. Leslie received star treatment tonight. <laughs> I mean, he, look, he played well. He played great. But Alex really frustrated him. And the second Alex was out of the game, he took the game over. That third foul on Alex, the elbow, the flagrant elbow, uh, you know, really took change, Leslie changed the whole structure of the game. But what the heck, it's a win, 51 to 50, sold out house. Get your tickets, because I don't think, BC, there's tickets left, but after that game, you're not gonna be able to get a seat. No. With the way the schedule goes. So what'd you think about coming in, and it felt like an ACC game. We got down the stretch and we scored, and the kids stormed the court. Ho, oh, it was it was like it used to be. Yeah, well, I guess the storming of the court was uh, a little, eh, over, little over the top. Maybe a little, but they but they deserve it, and the players loved it, and it was just a great night. Anxious to hear what Turge has to say. But anyway, Turp Talk tomorrow night, six o'clock in Baltimore. Got a 90-minute show tomorrow. We'll have uh, Keith Cavanaugh on. We'll have uh, head coach of the women's lacrosse team, Kathy Reese, on. So it'll be a super show. And also from the FCA, Mark Stevens, to talk about some of Ray Lewis's scripture reading. All right? <laughs> Are you going to dance tomorrow, Bruce? I danced last week. Once was enough. All right? Although the ratings were high. They were. People want to see Bruce dance. The ratings were high. Great night, Wayne. Thanks a lot. Product of uh, Viner Consulting. This is Terp Talk. And Wayne? We'll see you Saturday morning. It'll be a great show. It will. Good evening from Comcast. Oh, no.